While our first startup is keeping children safe on the ground, our next startup is keeping the skies safe above us. SciTech has developed a visual situation awareness system based on pioneering computer vision and artificial intelligence technologies. What this basically means is that their system enables autonomous flying vehicles, like drones for example, to navigate land and perform complex tasks in real time and with high accuracy, all without relying on outside connectivity. And while today we're talking about drones, anything is possible and in the future this tech could even pave the way towards helping autonomous flying cars. And here to tell us more about it is Roy Shmuel, CEO of SciTech. Welcome. Hi, Lidal. So let's jump right in. Can you tell us about SciTech? I gave a short intro, but what exactly sure. do you do? First of all, I think you explained that quite well. So thank, thank you for that. Basically, we are a computer vision and AI company for autonomous flights. When we talk about the autonomous flights category, we include drones, different type of UAVs. Drones can be used for commercial uh, uh, purposes, also for delivery. Mm -hmm. And in the future, we are talking about the category of uh, what uh, people call EV toll or flying taxi. Um, at SciTech, we handle both the mobility side of the vehicle, meaning the ability to understand where the vehicle is, uh, to navigate it, to land it accurately, and we also handle the mission itself. So the ability to perform the mission um, in the best uh, uh, way possible. And so uh, at SciTech, we are focused on solving these uh, complex issues. And we do it with an amazing team based in, uh, in Tel Aviv that brings uh, an experience of AI, aviation, um, autonomous mobility. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious, you know, why is there a need for this technology to be able to, for example, you know, navigate without using GPS? Sure. Um, so we are talking about a, a flying a vehicle um, a, a, above us. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are talking about a very complicated and uh, risky mission at the end. So people forget that, uh, you know, it uh, opens the sky for endless possibilities, but it's also a very uh, serious thing to, to fly an autonomous uh, mm -hmm. uh, vehicle a, a, a above us. So um, it, you need to make sure that uh, you know, it can move from point A to point B safely, reliably, and perform the mission. Uh, so for example, GPS, you touched on GPS. GPS is not always reliable, not always available, mm -hmm. and not accurate enough. So we had another sensor, a smart sensor, that uh, it enables the, um, the vehicle, no matter what, to understand where it is without any connectivity. So think, think about SciTech like uh, a mobile eye in the sky, mm -hmm. if you will. And I'm curious, you know, where did the idea come from? This is clearly the future, right? We're seeing more drones with companies like Amazon employing them. So let's take sure. a look into the past. Where did the idea come from? Sure, so actually SciTech started at uh, Be'er Sheva University, mm -hmm. one of the top universities here in Israel. And it, it, it is based on a research uh, which is uh, conducted by Professor uh, Joseph Francis, who is the CTO of SciTech. So Yossi uh, basically took a, a, a tens, tens years of uh, research mm -hmm. in the area of real-time registration and uh, thought about the possibilities um, to use this uh, innovative uh, mathematics, if you will, uh, to solve real problems uh, in uh, um, in our, uh, um, um, in our uh, uh, everyday life. So we thought about uh, um, how to use the ability to register a pixel in a very accurate way in order to understand how to uh, compare between different images, between an image and a map, and by that to locate a camera or a vehicle in that case, mm -hmm. and also to understand within the mission how to do things in a very accurate way when it comes to computer vision. Mm -hmm. And, you know, where do you operate now? Is this technology already in use? Sure, so the, the technology is already deployed. Um, uh, our biggest client today is Israeli Aerospace Industries, mm -hmm. IAI, um, and we work tightly with them on several systems, uh, unmanned systems like UAVs and drones. Um, so the, um, the technology is already deployed and uh, working successfully. Uh, so the, the company has managed to prove that the uh, academic theory that Professor Francis uh, uh, developed is actually working in real life, and now we are trying to scale up 
uh, all this uh, uh, amazing technology to solve problems across the board when it comes to unmanned uh, aerial missions. Okay, so you mentioned flying autonomous taxis. To me, that sounds like something in the future, right? Are sure. we closer than we think to this technology? So I think that uh, we need to look at that as, as a journey towards full autonomy. So uh, like in the area of autonomous cars, uh, people are talking about level, five, level one to level five uh, of uh, full autonomy, and we need to pass gradual steps towards this full autonomy. Uh, likewise, in our industry, uh, people are talking about the ability to use uh, pilots at the first steps that uh, got uh, a, a basic training mm -hmm. versus what we see today that uh, uh, pilots are uh, a scarce asset, if you, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, in the market. So uh, uh, in the future, people expect that um, a, a taxi driver, so-called, so will be able to fly these uh, uh, sophistic sophisticated vehicles and over time, once the systems will be more sophisticated, they will be able to replace more and more functions that human beings are uh, taking care of. And we at SciTech, again, we, we, we want to become the leader of this category of providing smart sensors that will enable this gradual autonomy over time. Okay, well, Loie, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Thanks a lot.